next guest makes technology that makes electronics waterproof and resistant to corrosion. The company is called HZO, and the brand manager for HZO is Ryan Moore. Ryan, welcome into tomorrow. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Good. Tell me a little bit about HZO, not to be confused with the channel HBO. You watch <laughs> movies. This is HZ as in Zulu. O. I'm seeing things all underwater and how you waterproof and make computers and things and phones and whatnot, electronics, resistant to all kinds of stuff, including corrosion. That got our attention. Exactly, yeah, Dave. So what we do is HZO is a waterproofing company. We work with manufacturers to supply next generation of waterproofing to their devices. So we're here tonight talking to people about HZO and how they should look for that in their next generation, in, in their next devices that they buy to make sure they're waterproof by them. So just like folks look for things like Gorilla Glass or something when they don't want to have another cracked screen and they keep coming out with version two and three and four, I think they're up to six, whatever it is. So yeah. what happened to the first one being so good? But, <laughs> but I get it, you know, it's all about improving. Uh, but you're kind of looking at being like them in the sense of protecting the entire device from water. Exactly, yeah. Manufacturers come to us and they say, we want to be able to protect from this, whether it be sweat for headphones or full submersion for e-readers. And we basically work with their, them to apply a thin waterproof coating around all the internal circuitry of the device. So normally you think of trying to keep water outside of a, of a device, but we can actually let water inside of a device. And these brands have embraced us because it gets rid of the annoying uh, seals and gaskets and plugs that usually you think of when you think of waterproofing. So we're the next generation of waterproofing. I, mean, I found it interesting when you said a lot of folks want to have you know the, the ability to fully immerse their e-reader. You get we get a lot of call for people that want to take their <laughs> e-reader not to the pool but in the pool. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's mainly an accidental protection thing, but for example, we're out on the Kobo Aura 1, which is an e-reader that just came out a couple weeks ago, and they said we want to do an IPX8 rating, which that means that they want to be able to, so their definition of that is up to two meters for up to an hour of time. Now, so if that's if you drop your e-reader and forgot where you dropped it. Right? Yeah, chances are you can't hold your breath that long anyway, so I think, I think you're covered, but... But yes, I mean, they, they wanted to go the extreme. We were, we were able to offer that protection. So how is it that the HZO technology actually works then? When you talk about, you know, you can allow water in. I mean, Chris is now showing on the video at intotomorrow.com. Uh, the computer, there's a, a computer running totally underwater. Yeah, so we have a demonstration area at our show. We have a Raspberry Pi computer that's been running our demo reel for a couple hours now. Uh, so yeah, we're just showing that underwater right here. We also have a Samsung phone that's not the official waterproof one, but we, we took our own S6, which wasn't waterproof, and we made it waterproof. And the way we did that is we have, we have a coating that we apply during the inside of the device. So we work with manufacturers, we have a machine, we put the PCB or the circuit board inside of the machine, and then it forms a thin coating, waterproof coating around all the circuitry. So it's kind of like I'm probably way oversimplifying it, but for myself and my audience, to kind of like maybe coating it in a very high-tech plastic or something, where th that way the circuits don't make contact with the water or vice versa, therefore shorting everything out. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. So it's a, it's a polymer-based coating. It's microns thin. It's clear. So you can see it, but you can't. Yeah. Uh, you don't really know it's there until you need it, and then you're really grateful that it is there. So that's how we can protect. So even though water gets inside, it's not going to be able to affect the electronics or short circuit anything because we protected it. And now, well, it doesn't mean that it's all of these companies' products. You're certainly working with companies like Motorola, Deutsche Telekom, Dell, uh, Nike. I'm seeing their logo. So apparently, there's a, what are you doing with Nike? Making their sneakers waterproof? Or? <laughs> so, so we had worked with them with a fuel ban when it was out. Oh, okay. cool. Yeah. Yep, so, so a lot of these products, we, we worked with them, they came to us, they wanted the next generation of waterproofing. So we worked with them on select products and we were able to solve their waterproofing problems. So folks should actually be looking for, is there some seal typically that they say that, that people can see HZO uh, is, is involved in this product that they can look for, especially if they're like a frequent beach goer or a frequent exerciser that sweats a lot? and carries a device with them and that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we, we, have, a, we have a badge that says HCO protected. If you see that, you know it's HCO protected. It might say it in the, in the, in the uh, description, just HZO. You'll know that we've uh, 
protected to their specifications. And honestly, there's some brands out there that they, they didn't want to be able to mention us, and that's fine. But, but these are- they pay you for it, you don't <laughs> care, right? Exactly, yeah, but we want to let people know these are the people that were they wanted to be able to show HZO on their products. Very cool. Well, you're a delight to chat with Ryan and, and continued good luck. I'm seeing that there are so many companies already and so many products that you're dealing with and working with. Can somebody as a consumer send a product to you and say, HZO it? <laughs> <laughs> no, at this point, we, we looked into that model, but to get this level of protection, it's best to do it during the manufacturing process. So, so we do it during the manufacturing process. It's, it's a part of the assembly, just like assembling the device. And that gives them the, the protection they really need. It does make perfect sense that way. And then you can stand behind it because it's been done properly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Love it. Well, you can visit their site at HZ, as in Zulu, ohzo.com and see what all the folks there are working on to help protect your various uh, electronic devices and other things for that matter. Visit them at hzo.com. We'll get you there when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com. I'm Dave Graveline. Into Tomorrow continues from IFA in Berlin, Germany, the 2016 edition here on the Advanced Media Network.